Good afternoon, uh, welcome to Direct Bird Products. I'm Shane, um, one half of the Evans and Plunton partnership. Now, today, what I just want to quickly touch on is um, egg handling. You saw last week, obviously, I'd done the um, egg bobbing, and just for information, the actual eggs on both the nests hatched the day after. So it, it just proves the point, I think, what may have been a uh, uh, one to to help it along is the actual water probably soften the shell up but today is like i said on uh, egg handling now there is many ways of doing this you can actually buy um, an egg handling light as you'll see in the picture but personally i don't all i use is a mobile phone uh, just switch the the light program on there and just put the egg actually over the torch itself it doesn't arm the egg it doesn't arm the chicken side whatsoever but you'll get a, a understanding of really how far along that egg is. Um, you can usually start telling um, if an egg is fertile around, usually if you've got a really good light, around four to five days. But I don't actually check mine until about a week, just just to get the uh, get the birds confident on the nest and sitting tight. That is not four or five days from the first laying. That is four or five days from putting back or setting the eggs. There's no point in checking at five days if you took it out and it's been in, uh, in your egg drawers for four days because it's not going to have been incubated for that long. So bear that in mind, it is from the point of incubation. As you'll probably see on the pictures, there's various stages of uh, the incubation period or the, the egg formation um, and it just shows you know, the, the actual period along where the actual birds or the chicks inside the egg are growing. And when it comes to, uh, on a 14 day period, bear this in mind, the chicks, uh, around 12 days, the egg will start to go to the bottom uh, and leave an air sac. And, and obviously, you'll see from the, the diagram on there that um, it is, that's, that's the period when it is. Because you'll, you'll probably look at an egg, maybe if you're, if you're new to this, I think it's not fully formed because it's not all the way up the egg or the egg is not completely dark. When the egg is due to hatch, it's never completely dark. It goes down to probably three quarters or even 80% of the egg and you'll get the top end that will be clear. So that is obviously um, how to do it and it is, it is so simple. There is, like I said, tools to do it with. Um, but if you've got a proven pair, I mean, my all my five eggs are full. Um, out of eight pairs, eight pairs of eggs have been full. Now, I won't check them the next round. Um, on the first round, I would usually check them uh, as they are, which I have checked along along the way uh, throughout the period. I have checked, but now on the second round, when it's the second round, I won't need to. I just I'm confident with uh, with the cockbirds doing what they do, and I, I will just leave them to it on the next round now. And I think that probably goes across the board for a lot of breeders as well. Maybe some breeders uh, won't feel the need to candle. Um, and one thing to bear in mind, just because you see uh, a canary cockbird treading the head on baiting, doesn't mean to say that their eggs are going to be full. Uh, it, it's, there's nothing, you know, given that that cockbird may be infertile or the egg may be, uh, the, the end may not be able to produce um, proper embryos so bear that in mind also you'll probably see this next diagram this is more on the line of it, it will show you the period of um, the chick going inside the egg but also it will show you when uh, the, the chick is dead in shell um, this occurs more when it comes to humidity or the end sat too tight or there is other reasons, obviously the, the embryo wasn't growing properly, something might have been wrong with it. But majority of the time it is down to humidity and, and the, obviously that is to do with the end sap too tight. Um, it does happen from time to time. I mean last year I got a few dead in shell because I got the humidity wrong in the shed. Uh, but obviously now we've, with the uh, doors and windows open, the humidity is right. And if you want to actually check out on the humidity, uh, go over to the canary room. Matt L did um, 
a, a bit on one of his channels about humidity and what he has it at. Uh, so, so check that out. Um, but if, in the meanwhile, one thing to, to bear in mind to bring the humidity to a level. Now, if it's a really hot day outside, just like a bucket of water uh, or just going around spraying the nest and stuff like that, that's one thing I tend to do quite a lot if it's hot. You spray the nest and you spray the ends on the nest to actually to to dampen it off but on the whole um, this, this one is, is all about um, egg candling in this uh, next picture it is like I said about um, some things more featured on on inside the egg and what's going on from the embryo and, and all the organisms that make up an egg so just, just have a look at that, I mean it's, I'm not one to go into much science but it's just something that you might find slightly interested in uh, just to know it's not just the chick inside the egg, it's, it's everything that goes around to create that chick. So have a look at that picture. So that's it for today, I mean it, it is just a short one, just on, on egg candling. But on, on uh, Friday's video, we are going to get back to doing some filming in here. I have, uh, throughout the week, been, been taking shots of uh, the canaries feeding the young, birds building the nest. I've got this, this pair of bullfinches here. She's already building up. And it's just going to be about things like that. But also, um, thanks to everyone that watched the uh, Derek Old Nord film. Um, the response from that has been fantastic, and obviously everyone seemed to enjoy it. And it's like I've said before, there's a lot of um, things that I've taken from that over the years, over the uh, 30 odd years I've been breeding birds and, and adapted it slightly. But um, the, the part two for that is going to be on um, the following Friday, something for you to look forward to, just as jam packed as, as what the original one was. So make sure you uh, subscribe so you don't miss that. But anyway, thanks for watching today. I hope you found this interesting and leave a thumbs up if you have and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks very much.